Whoopi Goldberg was forced to stop colleague Sonny Hostin for claiming Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall did not follow COVID rules when around the Queen. Camilla, 74, caught the virus for the first time just days after the Prince of Wales contracted the illness for a second time. The Duchess carried out a string of engagements last Thursday, the day Charles tested positive. The View host Sonny Hostin went on to claim Camilla or Charles gave the Queen COVID. The conspiracy theory forced Whoopi Goldberg to intervene. Ms. Hostin said, Prince Charles the first guest was breathing all over her and gave her COVID. Now Camilla has COVID, maybe Camilla gave it to her. Whoopi interjected, maybe she just got it in the air like everybody else. Sonny continued, well, Camilla doesn't follow rules of obligations of people that are married. Ms. Goldberg added, stop, stop, stop before the conversation moved on. It comes as the Queen is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms after testing positive for COVID but expects to be at her desk carrying out light duties, Buckingham Palace has said. Concerns for the Queen, 95, will be heightened given her age and recent health scare but it appears the head of state is determined to carry out what tasks she can despite contracting the virus. The diagnosis follows a string of COVID cases among the royal family and the Queen's Windsor Castle team with the Prince of Wales meeting the monarch the week he tested positive, and the Duchess of Cornwall also isolating after contracting the virus. The shock announcement was made just a few weeks after the nation's longest reigning monarch reached her historic platinum jubilee of 70 years on the throne on February 6. Buckingham Palace said in a statement, Buckingham Palace confirmed that the Queen has today tested positive for COVID. Her Majesty is experiencing mild cold-like symptoms but expects to continue light duties at Windsor over the coming week. She will continue to receive medical attention and will follow all the appropriate guidelines. The royal household has its own royal physicians and the Queen's doctors will be on hand to take care of and monitor the head of state, with Professor Sir Hugh Thomas, head of the medical household and physician to the Queen, expected to be in charge. The Queen met recently with the Prince of Wales, who has tested positive for COVID for the second time, but is not herself displaying any symptoms, a Buckingham Palace source said. The situation will continue to be monitored. The source told PA News. Buckingham Palace would not confirm or deny that the Queen has contracted coronavirus after meeting Prince Charles. Charles, who first fell ill with COVID-19 in 2020, was said to be deeply disappointed to have to pull out of engagements in Winchester after a positive test on Thursday. A message on his official Twitter page read, This morning the Prince of Wales has tested positive for COVID-19 and is now self-isolating. He will now need to self-isolate under current rules for 10 full days but he could be free after five days if he tests negative on day five and day six. Camilla tested negative on Thursday morning and continued with a busy day of solo engagements in London and Buckinghamshire, speaking for the first time of how she very honoured and very touched to be endorsed by the Queen as a future Queen consort. The Prince's diagnosis comes just days after the 95-year-old monarch marked her platinum jubilee by expressing her sincere wish that her daughter-in-law will be Queen Camilla at Charles's side when he becomes King. On Wednesday evening. Charles met scores of people and was accompanied by Camilla at a reception in the British Museum to celebrate the work of the British Asian Trust, 